to never play a new phone dies in 20 seconds. Uh, this is a game about a phone dying in 20 seconds. There are a few different endings. The video is probably going to be shorter than most of mine, but it's fine. I can manage. Uh, sorry, I've been posting for a week. I was down in North Carolina and couldn't really upload anything there, but I'm back. My If I sound a bit off, it's because I'm kind of sick. I don't know what I got from down there, but I'm able to upload this. Then I did a good job. All right. Give it a phone dies in 20 seconds. Let's get into it. New game. You have finished a late shift at 12 a.m. Streets of the small town have been encompassed in darkness. The buses have terminated services for the night. You have no choice but to walk home. Just 25 minutes away. You hear the sounds of footsteps behind you. You have a strong feeling in your gut that you are being followed. Dun dun dun. Hands shaking, you pull out your phone. You only have 5% battery left on your phone. You haven't got much, much time. Okay, what type of phone will die in 20 seconds at 5%? Like, seriously. I mean, I have, like, an, I have a pretty basic iPhone. And it can still last, like, a few hours before dying. But seriously, 5%. And your phone dies in 20 seconds. You should probably upgrade the phone. What do you do? Turn on phone. Risk it and walk faster. Risk it and all the way. Your phone is going to die anyway. What is the point? You put your phone away and pick up the pace in your step. As you exit Serene Lake, you dread every step you make towards the underpass from Lake Park. Once you cross here, there will be no witnesses. You take a deep breath as you enter the park that offers no assurance with lighting instead of broken street lamp with and a dim lighted tunnel with all you had to work with. You continue to hear footsteps behind you. Are you daydreaming? You don't dare turn around. And you speed up the pace, walking through the underpass. Your walking gradually becomes jogging as you wait as you wanted to reach the end of the horrid tunnel. Your heart almost stops as you hear the sound of jogging behind you. Someone is running towards you. What do you do? Start running or scream for help. Hmm. If I was in this situation, what would I do? Probably, I'd probably scream for help. But then again, it's like late at night. Not really that many people out. So I'm going to just start running. Pick up the pace and six hours later. What? You pick up the pace and start running down Com Comb Street? Comb Bay? I'm going to say Comb Bay. Kumbay Street. You haven't ran this fast since the relay race you were forced to do at high school. Your body is exhausted. After standing on your feet all day from work and adding running for your life to the day was overkill. Yeah, but at least you weren't killed. But your feet don't stop. They can't stop. You know, you're almost there. And you can only pray that you'll get there alive. Six hours later. You said the house was 25 minutes away. From a walking pace. Six hours. You return safely to your home without trouble. Maybe it was all in your head. You find out later that a man was arrested in the early hours of the morning on suspicion of intent to kidnap. Intent to kidnap. I don't think that's a real sentence, but okay. Next time, you promise yourself that you will make sure your phone is fully charged and don't say yes to working overtime. Alright, alright, let's try this one again. Let's see if we can get a different ending. Turn on phone. Saturday, 18 March, 12.04 a.m. Your phone will die in 16 seconds. Contact. Home dead, Brianna. Luke, 911. Your your default option is to dial 999. However, it would drain your phone much power faster. Listen to your phone ring and beg them to pick up as your phone is almost close to dying. How does 999? What service do you make? <sighs> phone is now dead. You are left alone in the dark streets of town. Take a deep breath and walk a bit faster. You can only pray that you will eventually return to your home safely. Woman reported missing? No. At least I'm still here. There is a widespread search for a 20-year-old woman who was reportedly missing on Saturday. Her last known location was leaving the local restaurant where she worked in the town centre. <laughs> town center. And heading home. It is unknown when she went missing. And the police believe that her phone is not turned on.
If you have information on her disappearance, please report to XXXX police by calling 0635 Is that a real phone number? I'm not really going to check out. <laughs> phone dies in 20 seconds. Alright, turn on phone. Uh, let's go mum. Mum moves about 30 minutes away from you. Hopefully she is still awake and can help you in the way. Mum, I need your help. Can you pick me up? It's midnight. I can't... I can help you. No, I'm being followed. Really? How do you know? They could just be walking in the same direction as you love? I have a feeling this is right. Well, I'm too far away, love. Just stay alert and walk faster. Defeated at her response, you decide to try. <sighs> Alright. Alright. Three, two, one. Mum. Mum, I need your help. I'm being followed. I feel like something is right. To feed her response, you decide to drop it and find someone else that can help you. Evie and call 999. Home screen. Oh, no. 911. Dial 911. Listen to the phone ringing. You'll be able to pick up. Police. This is XXX Police. What is your emergency? I think someone's following me. Okay, ma'am, where are you right now? I'm on Serene Lake. Okay, ma'am, go a second. <sighs> Alright. Let's be honest. I'm not going to read it. I'm just going to click the options. Go. 911. 911. Dial 911. Police. I think someone's following me. I'm on Serene Lake. Beep, beep. Come on. Come on, come on, you chant quietly to yourself, constantly checking over your shoulder. Beep, although you haven't waited long, it feels like an eternity. Okay, ma'am, you have managed to trace your location. If you don't feel safe, please head towards the nearest police station. It's on so, so Wooly Drive, this few minutes away. So head towards your direction. Hang on, you worry. <sighs> Alright. Oh, wait, I think I got a new one. Turn on phone. Number one, down number one. Police. Someone's so following me. On Serene Lake. Okay, thank you. Perhaps you can contact someone else. Luke. Yeah, Luke, your boyfriend of two years, lives with you, and your house is currently 20 minutes away. You could run there as fast as you can, but you'd feel better if he was able to meet you halfway and walk you home. He has done this before. Yeah, what's up? Your phone is not dead. You are left alone in the dark. Okay, you return safely to your home without trouble. Maybe it was all in your head. You find out later that a man was arrested. Okay. So we're, let's. I think the message here is um don't 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 work overtime. Just a bad idea in general. Turn on phone. Luke, you awake? Look at me, followed. That's right. I'm walking down the screen, but you do meet me halfway. Um, not sure if I am while you're home. What's going on? Nothing. I'm at a friend's house right now. I was about to head out. I'm 30 minutes away from home. You don't believe him. You, we have time to argue with him. You need to find someone else to contact. <sighs> Alright. Oh, you managed to return safely, but your this journey wasn't easy. Half of it included running for your life. Luke wasn't home, which you were not happy about. You might have died out there, and your boyfriend didn't even care about your safety. You deserve better. You do. You do, whoever you are, because I haven't given a name yet. I'm going to call you Angela. Angela, you deserve better. That was all she wrote. You broke up with him a week later, after recalling the previous events, and you suspect he was cheating. You don't know for certain, but you know that he can't be trusted. A lot of reasons weren't were learnt. You can't rely on anyone. Also, do not work overtime at work. Like, okay, first of all, how do you know he was cheating? You didn't even ask his friends if he was there. I mean, seriously. You start. At least find some evidence before you suspect him of cheating. On phone, uh, let's do Brianna. Brianna is your older sister who lives 10 minutes away from the town century. Center? She's married and has a four year old boy. Uh, okay. Jake, she might be sleeping right now. Are you awake? Yeah, I am. I think someone's following me. Why do you call 999? No, my phone is about to die. Okay, you should close. You should be close to my house. Come over as soon as you get scissors. Ah. Ah. Start. Turn on phone. Brianna. 
Are you awake? Someone is following me. My phone is about to die. I'm walking down Serene Lake. I'm still in the town center. Look, you should be close to my house. Come over as soon as you can. Your sister's house is ten minutes away. What if something goes wrong? So the time to get there, you have to run there to reduce the time. I'm on my way. You picked up the pace in your feet and rushed over to Brianna's house. Every second that passed felt like an eternity. The blood in your head, the blood in your head was rushing. Silencing the rapid pace that your pursuer kept to maintain sight of his prey. Brianna was waiting outside on the front door. You couldn't help but rush into her arms in intense relief as the front door slammed to the dangers behind you. Once Brianna, once Brianna calmed down, you reported the situation to the police. The next day, they found a suspicious individual following another young woman and arrested him. You're not sure if that is the same man, but you promise yourself that you will... Always make sure your phone is charged and not work over time. Uh, well, that was your phone dies in 20 seconds. Very, very interesting game. I like the concept. It was... I don't, I don't even know what to say about this. But if you like the video, then please leave a like, subscribe for new, and I'll catch you next time. Thank you for watching this. Sign, I am out.